I thought it was incredibly grim Welcome outside. To exhibition hunter. <gasps> Christmas presents. Thanks. Now close your gate. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about the exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Tell us a story. Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. Oh, excellent! The usual mutant creatures. This is hey, else. I want that shizzle. Much worse. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto: if it's hostile, you kill it. Intruder alert! Invent shaft. They're coming in from it's above. Not. Shit! Just what we needed. There are wounded here just behind the wall. The Kirill, take your group to the tunnels. Alex, Hunter, uh... we must stay here and defend the hall. All right, go, go, go. quickly, get a weapon. Oh, okay, well, do I get one of those really big, sexy-ass gun? Oh, wait, what's this? <laughs> oh, great. Artyom, so get I get the weapon. potato gun. Fine, yeah, I got it, I got they it. never come this far into this station. It's the hospital. They smell the blood. Probably for a while, I'm not too sure we will play Jack Free. Lots of people say it's really awesome, but what was that? What was that? Oh. I mean, a lot of you people keep talking about the difficulty. Should I just change the difficulty? Will that, will that appease you? What the fuck is that? Save him! Shoot the ass! Ass is the weak point, ass is the weak point. Oh boy. He's dead. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. It's about. Oh, oh dear. Oh my goodness! You're in the vents? Oh my god, I forgot it's a six shooter, it's a six shooter! I like how it shows the little clip like disintegrating on the bottom right. That's cool. Just keep popping them. Oh dear, there's another one right there. Yeah. Oh, executed! Like a bounce! These guys are quite capable. The AI guys actually look after themselves, which makes a change at the Jack too. Are you all right? Of course. He's a dead eye shot. This one. No shot one in the chin. Here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosoluses run through the tunnels like rats. Dark ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo novus, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your Homo novus with me to hell. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the outer guard post! It's nothing like feeling like a third wheel. And so motion. <laughs> Remember, we talk in slow motion when there is actually slow motion on the screen. Did he just give me the finger? That guy on the left just gave me the finger. Good thing I ran out of bullets. I actually really liked MGS2. I was really good at it. I mean, MGS2 was a lot more balanced than Jack 2. The devil knows what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully, Atom. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me. Staring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller so he knows I've sent you. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Don't let me down. You can count on if me, to survive, friend. This threat must be eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand? Ooh, pretty. What do we can sell it for? 
That guy's a boss. So we aspiring to become him then? Is that what we Until can be? did not return. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis. But I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. Oh yeah, let's kick some serious ass. So we've actually made a promise now to some random dude who's obviously a long-time friend. It seems that like you're also like a silent protagonist. We are the Gordon Freeman of Russia, basically, which is kind of cool, kind of interesting. But at the same time, he kind of talks to himself in his head. So he's silent to everybody else, but not to himself, basically, which is kind of weird. Don't you guys kind of weird? But anyway, let's move on. Why is it dangerous flying everywhere? Well, finally! Taking your time as usual, huh? Alright, grab your gear, go to the platform, they're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom, don't forget anything, huh? You're not my wife. What starts перевер тот се бабушка здорова. What starts перевер тот се куча ед комплект. What starts перевер тот се мечтает снова. What starts перевер тот се пережит на лед. Basically, it seems the story is about. The war has happened, nuclear fallout has gone everywhere, killed everyone, and so you're basically surviving with other people in Russia in the subway station, right? That's what a metro is, I assume, I don't know. In the UK we just call it a subway, or, you know, that, yeah, they just call it that, or a really long-ass tunnel with a train in it. <laughs> tunnel train! There you go. And so, yeah, this is just the opening, so you've just come just in time, which is perfect, so welcome. There are so many people in the stream, which is so awesome! Welcome everyone! I love you! Sit down, eat some cake. Let's continue onwards. So what are these things? No, it's, we think we've collected two so far, so what's this shizzle about? Yeah, seeing as it's Russians as well, everyone's gonna be freaking drunk, which is interesting. <laughs> so these are the notes. Ah, the task of defending our home station from the Dark Ones, enemies horrifying, mysterious, and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all our efforts. Okay, cool, so are these actually Artyom? I'm saying these are called Artyom, right? That's the, mo like the main character. I'm Proxy, but we're playing as Artyom, as he's called. So it seems you can either collect notes of multiple people, or you collect them of yourself. It's kind of like Last of Us again. I don't want to keep referencing Last of Us, but you know with the, like the letters and the notes in Last of Us, it's kind of like that. So if anyone's actually never played a game like that, the notes are kind of like that too. Cool. Awesome. Right, let's move onwards. Let's strum the guitar just to say goodbye to the room. Oh, look, it's the Metro 2033 books. You can't read them though. You, can, you actually can strum the pages. They're just as musical as a guitar. That's how good the story is. That's how freaking good the story is. It's music to your ears. Remember, we've got to, <laughs> we've got to look after the environment. So turn that lights off. Remember the, that those few seconds of the lights off would might secure the safety of someone in the future. Remember that. Right, let's move onwards. I don't know why that's doing that, and it kind of scares me. It might explode. Oh hi there. Hey, You're just staring at me. Nice music. Uh, where did you get that back? Got it from a ranger for a ton of ammo. Oh, yeah, yeah, how about? Oh, oops, sorry. I know. How about the house where you'd like to live with your mom and dad? Oh, come on. A house? If you strum all the guitars in the game, there's an achievement. And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her, and she'll be happy. That's going to be a great surprise for her son. Okay, I'll draw that, Daddy. When is mom going to come back? Soon. I wish she could see how much you've grown. Oh, that's kind of depressing, so... Her mom- well, his mom is probably dead then, though. Oh no, we should probably move on with some fostering this. There you go. <laughs> That'll cheer him up. There's loads of weird noises going around here. It's kind of creepy. Does anyone think it's kind of creepy? I personally think it's kind of creepy. Oh. Get out of here! I'll spank your bottle! I'm not a very good at the Russian, but I'll try my best. I, uh, okay, that's just rude. <laughs> okay, I'll back off it. Weak sneak on it. This is a stealth segment. Stealth segment, stealth segment. There we go, we're fine, we're safe. <laughs> that was awesome. Epic. Is that is going to be even more epic moments than that? I have okay headphones. I mean, one of them keeps dying on the left, which is a bit of a shame. You know, one of the actual phone bits of the head phoneage. And so that's a bit of a shame. I need to get some new ones. I did buy some Beats, but the, the noise cancellation makes me shout really loud, because obviously the, what would you say, the immersion of the actual silence kind of creeps me out a little bit. Oh, look at 
cute little bear. It's actually really, really creepy. Kind of reminds me of Naughty Bear. Do you remember that game? Buy that. Oh, wait a minute, so we can buy bullets and stuff. Oh, oh we can customize your weapons. That's awesome. What have we got here? Wait a minute. Slow down, everybody. Oh, we can get a, a sound of a revolver? Okay, that's interesting. And you can also get... Wait, 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 wait. If I select this... Oh, cool. So I can get a reflex. Is that useful? Is that going to be good? I, I mean, I think we'll be fine for now. We, we seem quite capable of the gun that we had. Oh, look at that gun! I want that! Is that a shotgun? Remember, I love shotguns. I mean, I love a shotgun. Oh, that looks so, so awesome. I've got to toss the guy on the left. Who's the guy on the left? There's loads of guys. There's too many guys. You're kind of scaring me with all these guys. Who's this dude? Ooh. Hi, can, can I talk to him? I can't do that. I'm not a T-1000. I can't face through metal. And you are Tom should go. You got no business here. Prison is but, a place for thieves. But he... But he yeah, wants to touch to me. I'm been gonna been go over here on that. Talk to the guy with the teddy bear. This guy's got teddy bear. My son's sick. Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Oh, bullshit. He's not gonna pay me back, is he? So is this gonna go towards morality as well? The morality is kind of weirdly put in segments where you wouldn't really realize it. I mean, you'd think it'd be a bit more obvious. It isn't obviously obvious, so... Okay, I assume it's gonna be loads of moments, so save the money or should we give it to him? I mean, I think you'll be f He doesn't- he doesn't need it. We'll, we'll keep it. I think I should probably save the moolah. I understand. These are hard times for Oh- Oh, don't guilt trip me. You are a bunghole. I'm oh, I can't give it to him now. I just walked away. <laughs> I was actually going to do it then. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Next time we do it, I'll give it to him. Don't worry. Drunk right. Again. Ooh, what's this? Hi there. Oh, wait a minute. You can use your military game bullets to exchange kills to purchase more ammo for your weapons. Okay. Oh, I see. So you've got 12 rounds of the moment, which should be fine, which should be good. I don't think we'll be okay for now. <laughs> I'm not much of an achievement person, to be honest. We'll move on from it. It won't. I won't brood. I won't brood. Hello, Arthur. Arthur, look. There's your gear. Look, go to the armory and get geared up. I'm going to go to the armory. It's right next to you, you stinky butthole. So, what do you make of that new guy? He seems completely incompetent. Hello, Arthur. You need some weapons? Okay, let's take a look. Can I have that dead space helmet? Four five caliber, made in the armory. It's got full accuracy and overheats like hell. That's why they call it a bastard gun. Here's your gun. Go go go. Never fear. So basically, I get the shitty gun. Thank you. Use short bursts, Artyom. Help yourself to some ammo too. Excellent. So, oh, wait a minute. So you got your military grade ammo, then they basically got the really cruddy ammo that they make underground and stuff, which I assume is. What would you say? It's infinite because obviously they can just make out of tin and old junk and stuff like that, which is kind of cool, which is kind of awesome. So at least they are in short supply of ammunition. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery powered. That, this is a lot of stuff, dude. I mean, I haven't got any freaking pockets on me, I don't think. And a gas mask. Put it on if you cross any radiation hot zones, or God help you, go up to the surface. Is this, is this the origins of Psychomantis or something? Thank you. Army issue first aid kits, just in case. This guy's freaking generous. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much, okay? I'll try, good friend. Why do you have glasses and then welding torch? You got really goggles on your head, which is kind of weird. Stick with the glasses. The glasses bring out your eyes. Oh, ooh. ooh. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're reloaded, we're reloaded, we're prepared. Do we want to practice? We can shoot things. We don't want to waste any bullets, just keep moving. <laughs> I can kick some ass on the field. I've been playing shooters for long enough. Everyone wears glasses down here. Do you think one day we could go back up to the surface? I've never seen Moscow. Just oh yeah, look at this dude, Mr. Rockstar. And that guy is completely depressed. Hi there, little boy. Can you talk to everybody then? Did you just have to go up to and press X or something? I don't know, it's kind of weird. I cheer up, little friend. Cheer up. Maybe he's really annoyed because he's seen this little boy here. He's kind of jealous of its youth. Do you think? Possibly. I think so. Ooh, pigums! Look at those next-generation pigums! 
Hey, Orpheus, how about the piglet? A mighty fine bet, I must say. <laughs> Let us ride the piglet into battle, like a sexy rest. biatch. Can't even get a break for a smoke. Hi. Good luck to you then. You're like Lee Evans, the comedian. That's awesome. He's pretty sexy. That's your up. That's your up. Here, here, move it. Hi. Why was your voice coming from all the way over here? I can't hear you now. Previous. <laughs> So you're ready to move out, I think. I'm ready to move out, comrade. Let's do this shit and go on the awesome little battery powered gold cart. Maybe we'll bump into someone. You got the crazy eyes, like the minion said. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. Am I gonna get a piggyback? I was gonna get a piggyback then. I'm getting really too close to his shoulders then. 